Good morning, you guys. It's around 11 right now. For those of you who don't know who I am, by the way, I'm Alex. I don't do this enough in my videos uh, where I introduce myself, so I'm gonna try and do that more. I haven't been to the gym in about a week, and that's where I'm going right now. It actually has been like eight days. I haven't been to the gym in eight days. Uh, I hurt my shoulder a little bit, so I wasn't able to work out, but now I should be good to go. I've been putting like a little warmer on my shoulder and stuff like that to kind of help it heal a little bit. Um, in this video today, I want to first do the workout and then I want to share with you guys uh, things about discipline and like, is it okay to uh, play video games while you're on self-improvement? For the longest time, I thought it really wasn't. Um, and I want to kind of share with you what I think about that. And also later, later in the video, we're going to go outside and we're going to talk about um, just a little bit of tips on how to be a little more happy, how to find a little more joy and gratitude in life. And uh, yeah, I, I really hope it's helpful for you. I really hope this video is going to be able to uh, help change a couple of perspectives in your life. But um, yeah, let's go to the gym. You guys watched the, um, the video where me and my friend went in his car, but the car is here. So I'm just going to lift up his wipers just to mess with him a little bit. Very beautiful. Very nice. All right, doing a little stretch here because, man, I never stretched before, like, working out. And I feel like it's also one of the reasons why I got really, like, not really injured, but, like, dude, like, my shoulder's been hurting for the past, like, eight weeks. Warm up the joints or whatever you call them. See, I don't know, I don't know what they call them. The spaces between the bones. Alrighty guys, so we're back from the gym. I felt really good during that workout compared to how I've been feeling for the past week. I made myself a little sandwich with lettuce and right now I'm about to hop on um, a video game with my friend, play for maybe two or three hours. Uh, I wanted to share something about playing video games on a self-improvement journey. Is it okay to play video games on a self-improvement journey? And automatically, everything you've seen on the internet, if you've seen like Andrew Tate talk about it, video games, um, which is not someone who I religiously follow, but when I started my journey, he kind of influenced me to start my journey. Um, when you hear everyone uh, talking about video games or talking about fun, pleasurable activities like watching a movie or something like that, uh, it's always super frowned upon. It's always like super hated upon. Basically, you're a loser if you play video games, which recently I've discovered not to be true. I discovered this through a podcast that I was watching recently um, with Alex Eubank and George Janko. The podcast was centered around talking about Christianity and Alex Eubank mentioned how um, we're meant to enjoy God's creation. We're meant to enjoy the thing God's the things God puts in our life, like sex, video games, uh, the freedom that we have. But it's like a bonfire in, in the forest. So, like for example, uh, if if you have the bonfire in the forest and surrounded by the rocks and it's controlled, you know, it provides warmth for everybody. It makes everybody cozy. It makes everybody happy. You can cook food and feed yourselves. But if you let it get out of hand, so for example, if you can't control yourself, you play for eight, nine hours a day, you stay up way into the night to play video games. Um, 
that bonfire gets out of control and it starts a, a wildfire. It starts to burn down the forest and it starts to kill people in its path. So I just wanted to give you that advice. If um, you're having a hard time, like just letting yourself have fun in your life, do it in a balanced way. You'd be able to control it. Don't let it be like this desire that you can't control, like some sort of addiction, but just like take it carefully. And if you want to enjoy playing some video games, after all your work's done, sit down and play a little bit of video games. Play a little bit with your friend, talk to your friend. It's just a fun time and it's not harmful to your self-improvement journey. Okay, with that said, I'm gonna eat my meal and then I'm gonna play a little bit of video games. Alright guys, so it's been quite a few hours since the last clip you guys saw me in. It is nighttime now, it's around 9 o'clock. And I'm just out here to talk to you guys about happiness. I want to share some things with you guys because I know like, as young guys, as teenagers, it's very, very hard to keep like a stable level of happiness, especially if you're trying to improve yourself. So I want to give you some tips that are kind of helping me in my life right now. I'm just gonna look at my phone here because I haven't written down, I don't want to miss anything. First, I want to give some more like practical, more easy tips. Um, my number one tip for like more practical, more easy tips that you can apply right away is showing more love to your family. Recently, I've started to notice like how in the past, um, I spent a lot of time talking business with my parents, which means like I spent a lot of time like, oh, mom, I need to do this. I need to do this. Oh, when's there going to be dinner, blah, blah, blah. Or like, what are we eating for dinner, blah, blah. But it was never like, hi, hello, mom. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Are you tired, blah, blah. And then like asking her what I need to ask her. Um, and I'm finding that like just having like that more human to human contact, like being like loving in that way of like taking an interest in somebody else. And that's really what I call it, like trying to take an interest in others. Um, that helps me feel happier because like in reality those are people I love a lot and not having that kind of interaction with them just because of like how busy life is and in my life especially how busy it is it doesn't like it's not a good thing it's not it doesn't serve me to not have those conversations with other people with with my people and so I've started trying to have those conversations more and it's really really helping me out to feel more happy and especially in my and especially build deeper and better relationships with my parents and the rest of my family and my loved ones my friends another practical tip is trying my best to stay away from making fun of other people in a mean way a lot of times like as guys um, we make fun of other people in a very mean way and trying to stay away from that because like at least for me inside it doesn't feel good to make fun of other people it's not like oh like you're, you're such a wuss like oh make like it's not a big deal well it's not it's not like that if you guys are thinking that it's just like it's just it's not right for me to make fun of other people like it just for me personally it's not right it doesn't feel good and I'm sure like a lot of you are going to relate to that even if it's like a subconscious thing that you haven't fully like conceptualized and realized yet um, I'm sure you guys will relate to that if you really try to stop making fun of other people as much another one is just being outside once a day it's really simple but it's really nice on your body and really nice on your mind to just spend time maybe touch the grass or touch a tree like something like that and just kind of even try to feel a little bit of gratitude for that it, it just really changes changes your day around if you spend some time in the sun even like morning sunlight is a really popular thing where um, you either sit in front of a window with like the sun bl blasting into it or something like that um, and it just it's right for your body it feels really good that's something that helps with a lot of happiness there's also been a lot of people like in my, in my life right now um, who I'm kind of forced to be around who don't really like me at all who I'm sure talk quite poorly of me behind my back and um, that used to get me down a lot and I used to even like fire back at them and, and in my own mind like oh like well that's like you're not this and you're that and you do this and blah blah whatever um, but now I'm kind of just like in a way I kind of just feel like sad about it uh, like if, if I notice like someone is like treating me poorly I'm like I'm like dude like why like I don't do this to you like why are you I just feel sad for them in a way um, like I, I really want them to be better. I've always tried to like make good contact with these people, but it's just, it never works. 
so instead what I'm trying to do is like just like let God's love and this is like another Christian thing I know I've said something else Christian in this video when I let his love be the love I when I let him be my God and I don't let the worldly things be my God so for example other people how they think of me or like money and things like that um, I feel a lot more peaceful I feel a lot more happy even if other people are taking me down and I sometimes I even feel like I'm feeling his presence when like something bad happens but then my mind automatically goes to like it's okay like I I'm I know God loves me and blah, 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 like something like that. Um, it really just like changes the whole way I look at things. I I hope you guys are continuing to watch this video. I, I like, I have a very hard time because I ramble a lot in my videos. I'm not very good at being concise just yet. Uh, I'm going to try and get better at that for sure. Just so you guys don't get bored so much. So these tips here the, that are going to follow are tips about your mindset in life. Um, and the first one's about time pressure. Time pressure is something that I've struggled with a lot, um, mainly in just being hard on myself, like very, very, very hard on myself about how much I'm getting done in the day. And recently I've realized that if you have a set time to do something and to complete something, the if you don't complete it, you'll be very miserable, you'll be very sad and very like, you'll feel unaccomplished even if you get it done, for example, 30 minutes later or like an hour later. Um, Whereas the actual feeling of happiness from getting it done at the time or earlier isn't that big and it's not something that's worth it. Um, this also goes back into like chasing worldly success over chasing God and chasing peace and chasing his love. Um, if you make that so important, the success uh, on a time basis, if you make it so important, then you almost start to worship it and you almost start to live every single day by that instead of trying to live every single day by God and making him the focus of your life while you try to while you try to improve other parts of your life or like while you try to get things done and I guarantee you if you try to make God more of a focus in your life which we, we can talk about in a different video um, when I know a little bit more I'm just feeling it into myself right now and just sharing with you guys like completely openly unscripted um, but when you start to let God into your life and you start to make him the focus of your life, he will make it easier for you to achieve the things you want to achieve and he'll make you a lot happier. He'll give you his love that will stop you from thirsting for other things in life that you think will fulfill you. He's the only one who can fulfill you. Um, another Christian tip or another like uh, mindset tip is trying to pray every morning and night. And in these prayers, um, I've realized like that when I don't pray for the morning time or for the night time, I feel like I step away from God a little bit. Um, and that reflects in my day a hundred percent today. I didn't pray in the morning and I've, I've been having like a pretty, um, pretty off day just, just from like my, my mind, not from anything bad happening, but it's just like things are just aren't going my way as much. And it's, it's because I'm not closer to God. I notice when I pray in the morning time and I, I say thank you for the roof over my head, for the comfortable bed I got to sleep in, for the sheets that kept me warm, for the food I'm going to eat in a, in a few minutes. When I say thank you for those things, it just like it changes the whole course of my day because like he's he's given me so much. Like I live in a country without war. I, I have a friend. I have a girlfriend. I have um God, man, I get fucking, I don't know why, but I get emotional, like, when I, when I talk about God a little bit, um, but, like, he's given me so freaking much, like, I have clothes to wear, like, I have, I have shoes that keep my feet dry when it's rainy, like, I have a car that works that I can drive, it's just, like, we have running water, we have electricity, like, it's just so many things that, really like that I have when I when I'm not like when I make him my God and when I when I worship him and when I tell him thank you for all these things you've given me not only do I get more but I also feel so much peace because I, I know that I have enough I know with him I have enough like no matter what no matter what happens to me or, or what happens in my life, like I know 
Um, he's always going to be watching over me. And if good happens, he's helping me. If bad happens, he's helping me learn something that I need for the rest of my life. And, and he wants me to be smarter, more wise. <clears throat> he, he always wants to improve me. Where, whereas like worldly things never give you that. They never give you that peace, that love, that need, like that wanting to improve yourself and, and that help to improve yourself. They never give you that. Um, I think I already covered this a little a little second ago, but it's like don't have a timed plan for your day. So for example, like today I had the idea that um, I'd like go to the gym at a certain time and I'd be done by 12 and then from 12 to 1 I could uh, get a little bit of work done and then from 1 to 3 I could, or from 1 to 3 or 1 to 4 I could play video games and that's not how the day went and I felt like stressed and like a little sad about it and it's just not worth it to like, I, I don't know, I can't explain this in a, in a very, very good way. I need to calm down a little bit. Just give me one moment. <sighs> when you plan your day and even if it's a good day, but things aren't happening at the exact moment you want them to happen, you start to feel bad and that's not it re, like it doesn't make sense to feel bad in those moments um so having a time plan is not good whatever's going to happen today is going to happen you try your best you give it your all but if something doesn't happen the time you want it to happen take a note of it like take a note of where you went wrong but don't like beat yourself up because you're always trying your best you're always at least i'm speaking for myself i know like sometimes i have days where i kind of just like drag and i don't really like put in a hundred percent most of the days I do put in 100% and I know like even on those days where I don't put in 100% I know that I'm trying my best not, I'm I'm not thinking like oh let me fall behind today so there's no reason for me to like beat myself up and hate on myself for it and the last thing is something I just learned from my girlfriend about um, the chemicals in our brain so for example when we have a bad mood or when we have a bad emotion if we let that sit in our brain our brain releases sad chemicals if we let it sit in our brain for too long, sorry, our brain releases sad chemicals that can last in our brain for about three hours. And it makes it really, really hard to get out of that in those three hours. What you can do in like a moment where you have a bad emotion, where you feel sad or whatever it is, like let's say, for example, um, you wanted to get out to gym at 1230, but it's like already one and blah, blah, whatever. Um, in that moment, just stop everything you're doing and give yourself a moment to think about how you're feeling and, and don't try to rush yourself out of the emotion. Like just sit in peace, calm yourself down and try to think about what you're feeling peacefully, not in a rushed way, not trying to get out of it or trying to go faster and get out the gym. Think about it in a peaceful way. Let it be, accept it for what it is. Okay, I feel sad that I'm going slow. Um, because I feel like I'm letting myself down. I'm, I'm not going to make as much success in my business, blah, 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 whatever. Try to let that emotion go as best as you can, or at least if, if it's still bugging you in the back of your mind, um, if, you're, if you're a Christian, think about it as the devil trying to push these thoughts in your mind so you can be as miserable as him. So you can be as sad and, and just depressed and angry and vengeful and hateful as him. When I... When I think about it like that, it really helps me because I know God is always on my side. So if I'm hearing any bad thoughts, if I'm hearing anything angry, mean, whatever it is, I know it's the devil trying to make me go away from God. He sees me so close to him in that moment. He sees me so, so close. He sees me succeeding and he wants to pull me down where he is. It's the same with like people in your life. When they try to pull you down, they try to make you as bad as they are make you as miserable as they are it's the exact same thing and for me when I think about it as the devil it really calms me down and I I start to go back to God I start to go back to the peace to the love that I have if you don't believe in God if you don't believe in Christianity what I can suggest for you is just notice those bad thoughts and let them be let them be what they are they're just bad thoughts they're not you they're not your value as a person your value as a person comes from your love, your, your, 
your you, not what you can do or not what you can, what you do and what other people's do, what other people do. And if you do more, you're worth a lot. But if you do a little less, then you're worth nothing. Like that, that kind of mentality. But um, I've already bambled, I think, for like 10 or like eight or 10 minutes, which I don't like because I know a lot of this, this video is not going to get to a lot of people and it's not going to be able to help a lot of people. Which doesn't make sense because I'm, I keep bambling on about it, which is kind of funny. I'm just trying to be funny for you guys, I guess. Um, but I hope it was helpful. I hope you really enjoyed coming with me through my day and the little tip I shared about video games and things like that. I hope I was also able to be vulnerable and like, ha and like um, open with you guys. I feel a lot more open in this video than I do than I did in the other videos. So that's a little bit of progress for me, even though I'm not like Mr. Pro YouTuber at the moment. Um, I feel like I'm making progress and I feel like I'm getting a lot better and I'm going to be able to reach a lot more people who can help me grow and who I can help grow. Um, and yeah, I'm going to head home, eat some dinner, and I'm going to call in a night for tonight. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful night and I hope that, or, or a wonderful day rather, and I hope that um, this video was able to help you. I hope that it was able to change some part of your life for the better. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you again very, very soon.